Hey there, it's Rob, out in the backyard again. With you know, the dogs, they're out ranching around in the yard. We're gonna take some time and work on, well, I think I'm gonna take some time and work on the hover round again today. Uh, today, I'm gonna try and take the wheels off the drive unit and replace them. This is the existing drive unit. This is uh, the beast that gives it its go. And as you can see, these wheels are not exactly in the best of shape. So I'm going to try and pull these off of those those four bolts in there to try and pull the wheels off. Uh, I think because they're two-sided, I might need to get a couple wrenches. And I'm going to replace them with these. These are tube tires and they are, as you can see, a little bit bigger. So probably two inches bigger. I think these are 10 inch wheels, these are eights. I think, or I don't know, maybe these are 10s and these are 12s, I don't remember which. But you can see that bolt hole pattern and that bolt hole pattern look awfully similar. So we're gonna try it and see if it works. This is a handy little tool. Okay, now, can't, yeah. Yeah, baby. All right. One down. little hub there and so it turns out these are metric I suppose I shouldn't be surprised 14 millimeter Well, there's something else I found out here too, is that the, uh, oh, it's a split hub with the bearing pressed in. That's interesting. All right. And is that gonna fit? Uh, all right. Pull the hub off. A nice little tire in there, inner tube. And of course, that's not gonna fit. <laughs> All right. On the good side, these hubs almost fit in there. I'm gonna have to do some uh, little bit of carving out of this so that the tube doohickey, tube filler nipple, whatever you want to call it, can fit, because we want to make sure that those, you know, the fillers on the outside, because we're going to have to fill these tires back up, I know that for a fact, but that is doable, and we have these. Which could right properly be reused in some some sort of fashion. That would probably go pretty well for a uh, hand truck or some other sort of thing. You see how kind of beat up these are. They've been around the block a few times. <laughs> 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 
but you know, I'll get it working. It was really difficult to get to. These aren't intended to be reversible, I don't think. Or maybe they just put the nuts in wrong. like having a lug nuts on the inside of your tire. All right, tiny bit of an issue. Because this is mounted backwards, or it's mounted so that the inside of the hub, or this particular piece of the hub is on the outside, I'm going to have to remove this nut. It's a three quarter inch nut, and it's on the axle. And it's a real pain in the butt because I can't really hold on to the axle to get it to not turn. You know, if I'm trying to do this, that doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna have to try and figure something else out. Not sure what to do here. Oh, that worked. Okay, now what? All right, so this buggered thing has been on here for so long that it doesn't want to come off. And I'm going to have to figure out how to get that out of there. I'm going to give it some PB blaster. And then we're gonna let it sit for a while and let this penetrate. See if that'll help. Because that baby does not want to come off.
Alright, I don't know how to get this wheel off. I have been working on this thing and it's not coming off. I have a feeling that it might actually be designed this way and that's... It doesn't make sense to me that it would be, but it's possible that they might have, to make it cheaper, had splines put on one side and not the other, and it's just it's so strange. But, I don't know if I'm going to have to cut off this wheel. I'm going to try and get it off without cutting it off, because I'd like to be able to reuse it with these hubs, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. But, we'll see. I'm not going to do it right now. Mm -hmm.